Uh, I grew up with a front row seat on the California efforts in urban development. My father was a self-described Oakland playground mom. After graduating from UC Berkeley on the GI Bill, he wrote, a friend of the court brief for Pat Brown, who was attorney general on the constitutionality of redevelopment law. When Brown became governor, my father went to work at the general counsel of the redevelopment agency here in Los Angeles, working closely with Tom Bradley and the city council. He helped set up the Urban Development Action Grant Program for the Carter Administration. He then retired, taught the principles of state-local partnership and private-public uh, partnership at BYU. Uh, from him, I learned that due process strengthens every project, and the cutting short of public process and derailing environmental studies leads to endless legal tangles. And in this, uh, if it lands in the court, this will be more expensive for everyone. There's been a curious lack of will, perhaps an unconscious bias against Highland Park, and there's not been an environmental impact report done on Transit Village. Um, you know, I developed San Diego Repertory Theater from an $18,000 budget to a $2 million budget in 10 years. I worked on the Design Advisory Committee for the Center City Development Corporation when we were setting up the Lyceum in San Diego at Horton Plaza. The one thing that I saw in this neighborhood was blocks that are being gathered together to create uh, a transit village. If the city is going to use its powers to put together these plots of land, I would think something more imaginative at the center of that business district could be used. I am working with some people to start a theater in that neighborhood. There is no theater in that whole watershed district. And that area is prime and perfect for that. I was in San Diego for 20 years watching it grow there. I'll, I'll wrap it up. Uh, there has been, in terms of the previous hearing, there was public testimony was cut from two minutes to one minute because there were so many people there. One person got up and said there were no views in that area to destroy. I've taken seven photographs of that neighborhood from the Gold Line Station and showed the views. Heinrich Keeper and Carlo Lopez. Good afternoon, Mr. Council members. My name is Heinrich Keeper. I'm a 35 year resident of Heinrich Park. Council and Chamber of Commerce. While I support revitalization and development in Highland Park, I cannot accept the current plan primarily due to the lack of sufficient parking uh, for the short and long term. Uh, I therefore strongly support the appeal and I'm hoping to get some more parking so we can be more futuristic. Thank you. Thank you. Carlos Lopez and Porter. Like the gentleman before me, I do support uh, the project uh, to a certain extent, you know, as long as it abides by the rules of the laws, especially by laws of the city. And uh, of course, the more important pro problem is the parking. Uh, I myself in my household, I have four different vehicles, and how many of the tenants that are live in this place are actually going to abide by that? Uh, you know, how many vehicles are they going to have? And where's that split going to go? Is it going to be uh, space alive for the businesses, uh, which is more than likely the answer is going to be yes. Uh, so definitely our business is going to be impacted by the uh, project. So I ask you to please make sure that uh, you look out for the best interest of neighborhood and businesses. Thank you. Thank you. We're taking over cars.